Good afternoon. I hope you won't sleep. I prepared some nice pictures to prevent you of that after lunch. Sometimes that happens. I would like to thank Pirio uh, to somehow get the information about this conference, otherwise probably I won't be here. And I also would like to thank organizers for allowing me to have this, uh, I would call it exchange of experience. Uh, namely, what I would present you is the work of, let's say, 15, 20 years in the region of Slovenia. For those who still don't know where Slovenia is, and I'm sure that now probably uh, are very little, this is the position, and the region I'm talking about is uh, southeast of Slovenia. Dolenska and Belagrania is the name of this region. <coughs> uh, so this was uh, the region which picked the uh, original uh, idea of the heritage trail, uh, which is uh, rural regeneration through sustainable tourism. That was the, the name of the title of the, of the uh, idea behind uh, where, when we started back in '96. Uh, and uh, it was a, a project which was run by Chamber of Commerce of that region, em embracing the partnership of, at the start, eight and finishing with 32 partners. Uh, work was done in probably 12, 15 years, as I said, followed later on by some other regions. I have colleagues here from Slovenia who are also listening to this, so I should be very careful what I say, <laughs> and yeah, France. So this idea then grows and develops also in other parts of Slovenia as well as abroad, particularly, I must say, in the last couple of years also in the uh, Balkans, uh, Bosnia, Croatia, uh, where we are trying to exchange, to the exchange projects, uh, develop this. So basically, uh, some key words were given in the morning through the introductory, uh, introductory uh, lectures uh, and lecture we are also using, if you want, potentials of our region to be incorporated as uh, it's uh, healthy food, uh, uh, local products, uh, nature, uh, active holidays. If, in this, this, if I'm repeating some key words now, this, these are things which we believe were those who make this project uh, successful at the end of the day. Partnership, when it finished in 2008, was transferred for the leader partnership. So the idea of the heritage trail, which was more narrow into sustainable tourism, then was broadened into the rural regeneration in the same region with the same partnership. And of course, it was then uh, added with some new, new ones. Yeah. We, we were quite proud to, to, to say that uh, uh, no partner left the project whilst we were responsible for management, uh, and I think that's still not a bad idea or <laughs> result. Anyway, uh, it is also important to be said that in Slovenia, back in 91, Ministry of Agriculture started with so-called integrated rural development initiatives in small localities. We heard in the morning village tourism. This was actually, you know, the beginning of kind of sustainable tourism at that time in tiny villages of Slovenia, which never heard probably about what is tourism, but they were mainly and mostly involved in, ru in rural or if you want farming activities. You know. And at that time, first time we started to talk about diversification, about the added value and blah, 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 so forth, so on. And these ideas developed then in more than 200 localities over the country were also the origin for our project. Because a lot of villages <coughs> with the developed project were introduced and involved in the, in the Heritage Trail Initiative. So I'm just showing you some examples. So culture, nature, and people. People were key. And I believe, and I strongly uh, agree with those who said community is the focus. If there is no community with you, you won't develop community tourism of this kind. And I'm sure that you, you experience the same, the same thing. So I can say, they say that it's Chinese, but it could be Finnish, I don't know, Polish. Proverb, uh, if you want one year of prosperity, grow grain. If you want 10 years of prosperity, grow tree. If you want 100 years of prosperity, grow people. I believe this is a strong message which I would like to convey with such initiative 
if you want to keep it long term and sustainable, as I understand uh, the word of sustainability. <laughs> uh, so, some components uh, which I would like to introduce, and uh, this is part one, uh, it will be brief as, as much as possible. Uh, so, 96 to 2008. And later on, you will see what this project initiated in the regional context as a destination, uh, because it was it became from the project a product. Uh, and uh, it is important to be stressed that private sector, so providers, service providers, were key of the of the I would say partners that from the very beginning. We talked, for instance, from the owners of uh, farm tourism. We talked to to the guys who presented some cultural events, uh, folklore, if you want. Uh, um, this is a kind of example <coughs> where local mayor is acting in front of visitors and uh, telling story about the tiny village which uh, was uh, or is a focus of a, uh, a writer, quite famous Slovenian writer, Josip Jurcic. And of course, all these elements need to be brought together to get a good sound ensemble, if you want. So it is much easier to play one accordion, but if you want to play an ensemble, then of course you need to practice a little bit. And of course this doesn't come overnight. Uh, it is important to gain trust, to gain kind of mutual understanding between pa partners before you will get good results and fruits. I am sure that you are aware of the ladder of partnership where at the beginning we exchange information and at the end the final stage is where we believe and trust each other so much that we can contribute and agree the finances and all much more complex things uh, which, which are needed for success of such uh, uh, initiatives. We were using our potentials in terms of diversification. Uh, some examples are here. I could tell you that there were a lot of nightmare also when the EU came with the regulations, you know, hygiene, the safety. People were knowing how to do sausages, but suddenly they were not allowed to sell them anymore, you know, but they, because they need to be wrapped in, in the nice plastic vacuum or whatever, you know. Uh, but of course, that's, that's, that was a need and we, we were able through the partnership to organize uh, and, uh, you know, prepare trainings where more than 600 people in different, in different sectors got uh, certificates or uh, were licensed and be, be, be able to continue their, their, if you want, I would say, activity as be it supplementary if, or maybe even in a couple of years after they started as a, as a key activity nowadays uh, on their farm. And a lot of good uh, and positive, I would say, things uh, were, were uh, developed. One, of course, is attached to wine because we are wine region and you know where wine is, they say there also is a possibility for tourism. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm aware that in Finland is no wine. Is that correct or is, am I wrong? Because that things are so, so quickly changing, it's very difficult to say some, such, such a statement. Probably you have also some uh, attempts. We have, we made, uh, we make wine from berries. All right. But okay. Not okay. Anyway, I heard that where is wine, tourists are, you know, jolly and nice, so basically, okay, we have wine. And of course, a lot of stories, legends behind that we, we, we incorporated in, in this. Uh, people like this farmer become sommeliers, were trained now, highly skilled professionals, if you want. You won't believe that this guy is driving a tractor in the morning and in the evening he is serving you know, the, the table on the best possible level or is it in four star hotel uh, well we started as i said from tiny villages uh, uh, designing the product developing the product ideas together with villagers uh, this is one example of baraga trail a very beginning of of, of this uh, well of course there were some also research and studies behind, so it was not just like that, but we always try to be professional as much as possible. We tested markets. Children are very nice group to be tested if your project is working or not. And of course, at the beginning, it was a lot of disappointment for us because they were not interested in what we offered. Them. <laughs> and they are pretty straightforward. They won't go there. They are not interested. <laughs> And of course, if you are listening and carefully observing things, then of course you can may also have a good <laughs> uh, and positive 
monitoring through such uh, initiatives as this one, which then uh, later on led us to, to uh, I would say, more, more complex things. Some of the sites I'm showing you now, this is the selection of probably one hundred, more than 150 proposed. So I, I, I don't have time. I will just say that it is important to understand that there was very strong carrying capacity uh, undertaken and a lot of other evaluations, market analysis, before we decided that 28 locations or sites are now the product of the heritage trail out of 150. And also a lot of discussion and debate with local politicians, administration, who wants to have their grandmother in. And we decided that maybe this smile of grandmother is not the best for the for the whole product if you if you understand what I'm trying to say you know. uh, and of course this is now uh, where we later on uh, worked for as I said 12 years I don't have time to go into details there are a lot of stories behind this for instance one story that we had the valley of river Kirka which was known as a valley of water mill mills which were after the, the valley was uh, economically collapsed, completely gone almost. And we were able to keep one uh, uh, man who was still keen to show people how traditionally this was done. And fortunately, he died. We put this in brochure, of course. He died. His son was not interested to, to go on. And suddenly, you have a big issue. You know. And this is, this, is, this is life. This is, uh, uh, um, again, things which, which you, you can't. Uh, pretty uh, so this is Kostanievica with nice forma viva, underground world. Ba basically, heritage trail idea is not a team. It is, a, a, I would say, a late vintage of the region, which says the, 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 the best what we believe should be should be shown in in a, in a way that tourist is able to pick their own. Because I still believe that each of us has his, his own taste and should be like that. And we developed some ideas, like uh, here with this monastery and opera and air museum, with the renovation of the traditional buildings. Again, the, the story. This building was just about to be knocked off because uh, owner didn't want to have it. He wanted to have new style, which was of course in the town, you know, and but didn't didn't belongs to here. And uh, because this chapel was reconstructed, then we were able to talk to him and, and say this nice nice. And he is not in tourism at all. But a lot of people come here to see this chapel and stop there. And now, he, when he sees that they, they are doing so, he starts to think, maybe I can offer something. You know? If not him, himself, his son maybe will do the same thing. Architecture, again, legends, stories. I don't have time, really. I'm too, uh, uh, not talking too much. If I start one story, <laughs> then we will. So this is the protected area landscape park, which we have also one as one of the uh, product and, and I mentioned then uh, living culture if you want which also uh, to me it's even well, if not uh, equal more important to, to, the, to the things which are on the side of culture of nature okay so this was basically the start uh, and you see when we gathered first time with partners we, we heard family business uh, uh, you know kind of tiny tiny uh, economy they all said, because we have quite strong spa in the in the region. Oh, it doesn't. Have, have, have no, it's no sense that we, we are trying because the, the big guys will take everything. They will swallow us. Okay, so and at the beginning, I must say that it was not very friendly uh, uh, from the spa to, to see that some somebody else is doing something on the side of tourism. This was also interesting, you know, because nobody believes that this will bring somewhere. And of course, then through time when we. Uh, gathered when we formed the partnership, which was uh, of officially signed by, as I said, uh, partners in a, in a kind of agreement where the finances were provided, you know, and we, when we grow, we, we were able to, to uh, tender on different, at uh, that time, national uh, budgets. Okay, we were talking and starting to think about destination, about the management of it, about the joint vision, regional brand about the key markets and the, uh, the, uh, the structure, because then you can afford more professional structure. And, and as I said, partnership then, it was, and it is as it is uh, in this last couple of, uh, you know, slides here. Uh, this was the story, basically. 
Yeah. It was uh, hard work and some figures here. Uh, I said uh, to my colleague Ula, uh, so if, if you st we, we start to follow, this is uh, the, the regional kind of flow of tourists. Th this is probably one third of the figures which we were able to capture through our uh, incoming agency, you know. Uh, but it is important that th in 2009, this is where Heritage Trail Partnership stops and it turns into the leader partnership. So it was not the only uh, uh, responsibility f solely tourism, but broader. But still, I think that trend is important. And nowadays, I don't know how are your experiences, it's not easy to have growth. Uh, it, it, times are hard. If you are able to keep the, the figures, I think it's, you're doing quite well in a sense. And this is part two. Firio, I have how, five minutes? Okay. So this will be really. Uh, uh, as I said, the region afterwards, and also in Slovenia, it was introduced uh, law to establish regional destination organization. So, and in this pros uh, prospect, we prepared uh, kind of products and heritage trade pro uh, project turned into the product and of course we challenged uh, ourselves and okay uh, to become the most visited destination of Slovenia and uh, I'm jointly asking you do, do we really want that for this no not at all we, 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 we try to be realistic we never will achieve that because there are of course more de de developed regions but we want to have this, and I don't want to read this really. Uh, we want to keep it simple, as it was said in the in the morning. We want to be responsible towards nature and culture, and 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 people who are there. And we want to offer, and this is our, as you see, logo, different discoveries. We want to offer different discoveries. And what is behind that? Of course, now in 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 a in, uh, very short three minutes uh, run through, through some, some key features now of the regional, if you want, products, which includes towns and squares, which includes uh, tiny churches, as you see here, which includes some castles. <laughs> this was a region with a lot of castles, unfortunately, a lot of them in ruins which includes, includes traditional vernacular architecture. Hayrek is the typical uh, construction of our territory. This is to dry hay. And recently, one of the municipality in this region become very, I would say, success, uh, the successful uh, product designing uh, uh, land of hayracks. Extremely, extremely uh, uh, successful in Slovenia. And of course, involving local community. So, basically, I, ha I ha said this two minutes. Yeah. So we designed destination logo and and uh, uh, kind of uh, based on uh, archaeology. Yeah, these are some some uh, now I forgot the word. Uh, like a necklace, uh, you have glass, glass, which which originated back. I don't know, it's from the from the Iron Age, you know. So basically, uh, this was done, uh, and also I I uh, can say that l uh, lately a lot of initiatives goes on uh, the side of involving vine vineyards, vineyards and houses uh, uh, from vineyards into the into the product. We have different world wildlife. Archaeology, I mentioned, discoveries in terms of... These are local ideas, tiny local ideas, where, for instance, traditional school from 50s, 60s is presented in, in a nice way that uh, people participated. You know. um, we mentioned this, we mentioned this, we mentioned this. Okay, traditions, customs, still alive and quite rich. We mentioned this. This is basically all, all what I said, but now... Uh, we designed also, and this is also was quite important uh, possibility to be active to visit these 
uh, sites, 28 sites now, in, in, of be it walking, be it on cycle, uh, be it on horseback riding, be it on canoeing and rafting, all together around 1,500 kil uh, kilometers of trails which of offers you active uh, engagement. Uh, of course, also some, some other products, uh, as this one uh, from uh, uh, Novo Mesto, which, which gives you opportunity to see Novo Mesto from the water side, where children can enjoy, where some concert, where drama could be played. And of course, also important to me, uh, preservation of vernacular arch architecture, where colleague uh, reconstructed a building, which was just about to be knocked off, you know, and prepared it in, in, in extremely, uh, I would say nice way with the help of the Cult uh, Institute for Cultural Protection and become one of the most successful products uh, for, for uh, overnight accommodation. Uh, so this is basically what I have and I have to say. I, these are just some uh, slides of things uh, how this was done so that you can understand it. It, it was a lot of work and all this cannot be measured in economic terms. If there is no emotions, I would call it, behind this, this story doesn't happen. You know. you, if you did measure this just through money, difficult, very difficult. Because some people really invested more than, I would say, uh, finances into this, but also the awareness that they are keeping their heritage, their father's and grandfather's heritage alive. And I think this is beyond the, 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 the measurement in terms of of money or, or whatever. So, uh, welcome to Dolenska and Belagrina to check whether I said truth or not. Basically, this is this is uh, my conclusion. Maybe just one second period. Uh, we can all think whether we would enjoy this more. You you, you know, famous brand Lacoste uh, or. Maybe this is what we want with our community and rural tourism. It's a challenge for all of us. <laughs> and I, I'm leaving you with, with, with that one. And also with this one, which I found on the litter bin in Ljubljana. And this is, this is what we had at the very beginning in, uh, as, a, as a goal, how to offer our tourism product to guests. Now, really, thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> Thank you for the presentation. I have one question. What is the biggest issue or the challenge that you have to deal with now? At the moment. At the moment. <laughs> in your development work. Okay. Uh, well, I must first of all say that I was with this project until 2009. So by the end of 2008, it was around 15 years of my personal work into the management and organization and so on. I'm not so deeply involved as I was before. And sometimes it's very difficult to, you know, <laughs> uh, say something because you were part of this story, and it could sound that you want to criticize, which is not the case. But I will try to, of course, uh, uh, respond to you. You know, uh, to me, after now five years not being so close there, I find the most difficult to see that the relations, the good relations between partners, uh, which was established through, through, the, through the years, which of course were always, I would say, better and not so good. Because you, you communicate on a daily basis with partners and it happens that you have some initiative which won't one, one satisfy all, all, all. They, they, they expect more from the, the uh, action which, which is taken. You know? Uh, but you need to think how to keep them on board all the time to be to be uh, actively uh, involved and also to contribute uh, uh, on 
the stage. So the, to me, the most difficult at the moment is to see that this momentum is lost, and I can't figure myself why is that. Uh, where, where is the catch of the problem? Uh, is it, I don't know, not so adequate management? Is it, I don't know, difficult times, uh, lack of, I don't know, finances, or or they are tired, or whatever? Because I suddenly see that there are more individual action again, which is taken by the single municipality, than organized, uh, I would say, joint action as a partnership, which always proved to be successful in terms of getting support. Because our advantage at that time was that we were together. This is to me, of course, we can go now in details, but, uh, and also other elements accounts. But at the moment, this is in, my, in, in this particular case, kind of situation which I don't like. <laughs> More questions to Mark? <coughs> one is in the whole oh, That will be a difficult one. Probably. Uh, okay, Marco. Yeah, the, the, one of the questions that you might, might ask is, uh, and it follows on from Gula's question, to what extent does the collaboration and cooperation depend on people seeing that they have a mutual benefit from working together when you're operating as an umbrella? take away the umbrella, or you move it to an organization which has less of a, a, a role in actual selling or marketing as opposed to developing or, you know, it's down to the personal it situation. Is. It and I mean, one can make a comparison between rural tourism such as you were developing and shipbuilding or steel. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got one or two very large mm. organizations and they can talk to each other quite easily. Mm. You, you're talking about individual entrepreneurs who protect their own interests, mm. but they also don't have the skills and the knowledge mm. or the drive to mm. talk nationally. Mm. Well, I can just be quiet because you answered, I believe. I mean, it is, and of course, it, it is a daily basis communication. If they don't see you maybe for a week, ah, something is wrong. Why, why you are not here? Why you are not around? We have this and this issue, you know. Of course, of course. And it is a hard work. It is a hard work to be, to be all and always on the right time and suddenly, aha, uh -huh, you are not there. Okay, it's, the guy is not thinking of us or things are not happening and blah, blah, blah. So it is, it is really uh, exhausting to, to keep that, such, such partnership alive, to, to keep such you know, uh, members, partners uh, in, in, a, in a kind of positive spirit. But again, we, we somehow succeeded. And I, I, I'm aware that not, it was not always, you know, nice and shiny and, and, and not everybody are smiling <laughs> when, for instance, old management team is mentioned. Because, of course, we all also fail. I mean, let's be aware. Uh, yeah, that's it. One question more. Thank you. <laughs> I like this one <laughs> the most. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you, Marcus. Thanks.